It's the end of the month and Kumar has received his monthly salary and unlike previous months, he wants to invest some of it. Over the past few days, he's learned that the earlier he invests, the better and he does not want to wait any longer. He's zeroed in on mutual funds and is looking forward to taking the big step into investing. But he doesn't know where to start. But hey, thinks Kumar, Mr. Khan, the financial advisor, has been calling me to help me invest. Why don't I ask him? Later that day, Kumar meets Mr. Khan and tells him his problem. Mr. Khan presents Kumar with a host of schemes to pick from. Before you begin selecting schemes, says Mr. Khan, let me explain a key concept of NAV through which you can evaluate these schemes. NAV, or net asset value, is the price that you pay to buy a unit in the mutual fund scheme. The NAV of a unit of a mutual fund is calculated with the formula of total value of the fund's assets minus expenses divided by the total number of units. The rise or fall of the NAV over a period of time indicates the scheme's performance. You may wonder how NAV rises or falls. The NAV changes because the underlying portfolio's value goes up or down depending on the market. This is specifically true of equity schemes. That's great, says Kumar. Now I can make a decision based on the past performance of a scheme and invest accordingly. Yes, says Mr. Khan, but remember, past performance is only an indicator, but not a guarantee for future performance. I understand, says Kumar. Okay, I am able to save about 15% of my salary every month. What's the best route to invest this? Mr. Khan smiles and says, SIPs, or systematic investment plans, are the perfect solution for this. SIPs allow you to invest small amounts regularly over a period of time and you can choose the date of investment in advance. And since you're investing over a period of time, the NAV highs and lows are better managed. How, says Kumar? For example, let's say you want to invest 500 rupees on the 5th of every month. If the NAV is 25 rupees, you will get 20 units. If the NAV becomes 20 rupees on the next SIP due date, you will get 25 units. So, you will keep accumulating units at varying NAVs over a period of time, which brings in the benefit of cost averaging. Kumar is extremely happy. Having understood the basics of investing, he is ready to begin his journey of a lifetime in investment and wealth creation.